Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to another video and um, I'm probably going to get some funny looks, maybe, depends on who's watching, but this is um, Parodia's Dad and it's basically a, a slightly advanced updated version of Parodius for the PlayStation. It's, I believe, a collection. I think there's another game hidden away in there somewhere. Um, I'm not that good enough to be able to get it. But let's give it a whirl. Let's see what happens. Um, I don't know what the full Japanese name is because I think that, I'm calling it Parodius Dab, but I think there's a, um, I think they're celebrating something because there's, lo there's like loads of different characters and stuff like that. So there's Twinbee. I love Pentaro. Um, I love Ki Kikaru, but um, Vic Viper is the classic one, isn't it? Um, not sure about this guy. I've never met him. So let's begin. Um, I want to choose my power-ups, because I'm a bit of a sadist like that. And let's see how we get on. So as you can see, lots more presentation, lots, lots more to it than maybe the original. A few, few more different characters, as you can see. And it is gradius, but with, that's, it's kind of funny and kind of slapstick. And that's got to be a good thing. And as you can see, I'm rubbish at it. <laughs> I should really be doing speed up, shine. That's better. Right. So, obviously if you've played Gradius, you'll know what you're dealing with here kind of similar kind of thing. However, there's a little bit more to it. And if you've ever played Parodius, um, be it on the Nintendo or anything else, you'll know where you stand with that. Um, as you can see, it's just really slapstick. It's just a Mickey take of Konami franchises. Um, if you're a fan of Konami games, you're going to yum this up. And as you can see, guys, it is insanely good. Uh, graphically, it has got a distinctive style. I cannot deny. Um, you either like it or hate it. And I must admit, I love it to bits. Look at the look at the base of the stage. Um, these are all characters out of Konami games, <laughs> and I just bundle into them because I'm a madhead. I keep staring at the graphics. I'm not really concentrating on the game at all, and I should be. Um, And if you listen to the background music, it's Jive Bunny. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a bit mental, I have to admit. But um, that's what it's all about. I'm, I'm a big fan of the game. Big fan. And um, although I'm absolutely cack at it, I don't mind because I can enjoy it. Um, if you're a shooting fan, you're going to absolutely yum this up, guys. You're going to absolutely love it. Um, if you're a Konami fan, well, it's, you're going to be in hog heaven. Um, it's totally brilliant. Um, and even if you're not necessarily into Japanese stuff, even if you're not necessarily over with Japanese culture, it's not a problem because the game is just laden with English anyway. I mean, it's not even like, it, you know, you know, it's not even like you don't know what you're doing. You're going to know. So. And I'm thinking I'm going to have one more go just before I say cheerio to you guys. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have me a go with someone that I am good at. Um, Pentaro is the one that I know the most about in the Parodia series. Twinbee is pretty cool, but I'm going to stick with Pentaro. The Vic Viper is another obvious choice, but I'm not going to pick the Vic Viper at all, because we all know Gradius. So, Pentaro, as we know, from Penguin Adventure, um, I believe it was the first published game by Hideo Konjima, I believe, um, Metal Gear fame. 
Um, I believe it's his first published game. I'm not entirely sure about that. I don't know. Is it Penguin Adventure or Penguin? Yes, yeah, Penguin Adventure. But yeah, uh, Pentaro is one of my favourite characters um, in Parodius. Um, his abilities and weaponry are pretty much all encompassing. And I missed all the bells because I'm just absolutely awesome like that. So the trick is to get the weapons with a big spread early and to get the speed up. Um, I didn't because I suck. But um, the trick, some people like to get go the speed get the speed up early. You see the thing about it is guys with me is I don't like to have too much speed um, because it can disrupt, it can make it hard for me to control basically. Um, so whenever I'm doing, so uh, that's why I never really do auto power-ups. Um, I need to get over myself, come on. Um, that's why I never do auto power-ups and stuff like that. Right, here we go, let's do this. Get a bit of speed. The game does get very challenging very early on, but um, part of that is down to me being a bit poo -poo, so forgive me on that one. Here we go. We're cooking with gas now. Let's do it. Oh, way up there. Whoa! Yes, sir. If you're a Konami fan, you're going to yum this up. If you're a Gradius fan, as I say, you're going to love it. What I would say to you guys is, um, it's, it's easy to find on the PlayStation, although having said that, it, it can be quite expensive depending on where you go. Um, for me, um, I, I genuinely cannot remember where I got mine from. It wasn't online. And that is a fact. And um, this was, I got this way, way before, like, the Dreamcast, so, very in the 90s, so I'm not quite sure where I got it from. Um, somewhere in London. I can't remember. I can't remember. I don't even know if the place exists still. Uh, but what I'll say to you guys is, totally recommend you get this game in some form, somehow, somewhere, because um, even if you're only playing it for about half an hour to an hour, you're going to get a bit of fun out of it. It's, there's more to it. What frustrates me about the game is that there's more to it, and I don't think I'm ever going to see it because I'm just not that, I'm just not that good at the game. <laughs> and I feel like I'm missing out on something. So what I might do is I might have a look into that a bit later. Actually, I might try and have a proper crack on this game. But yeah, alright guys, I'm going to call it a bit. All the best to you. Have a good one, and see you on the next.